Hello there, good afternoon everybody, how are you? Sorry I'm a little bit, um, little bit late, two minutes late today, been a little bit hectic. Just, uh, I always say every week, don't I, it's always a bit hectic. Hello Lisa, how are you? And um, hi Leanne, hi Le uh, Anne, and, uh, oh, hello, and oh, hello. Uh, Linda, Trisha, Linda, Lisa, Lisa, Kin. Uh, Kin, Kin, is that how you say it? Hello Kin. Uh, Amanda, hello to you, Janet, Joyce, I uh, can't see anybody on Facebook at the moment. Do do hold the line a moment while I while I refresh Facebook. So have oh there you go. There, there you're there, aren't you? So oh yes, um, one of those days today. I, actually, Kim's just come up, and I was just saying it's one of those days where I'm doing this, and I'm doing that, and I'm doing that, and oh somebody wants that. Somebody had a broken mug. Glennis, we'll send you another one. And then this happens, and that happens, and you get to the end of the day and just think, I've done the thing. So she's just turned up and she's taken over, there's a needle, um, the next project for the Half Yard Club, which I'm late with, it's almost late. So that's that's me today, oh, all over the place. Hello, Helen, on Facebook. Geraldine, hello, Sue, uh, Laverne, and another Sue, and uh, Sarah, you've got a pink parcel coming out to you. And uh, Lynn, hello, June Jones, hello to you. Laura, hello. Oh gosh, you're really busy, aren't we? Now, the, oh, hi, Rita. Um, Hang on a minute, you're in Germany, aren't you? Oh, you've gone. You've got a parcel going to America, though, so you'll probably be back in time. Um, is that why you're on Facebook and not YouTube like you normally are? Hi, Julie, Rebecca. Oh, lots of you there. Uh, now then. Oh, hi, Helen. Carol's in Italy. Lovely. Hello, Sheila. And uh, another Sarah. Hello, Debbie and Tammy and Carol and and Right. Okay. So, um... I'm not doing a technique today, as, as it's Techniques Wednesday, because I couldn't think of one at short notice. So we're going to make a little pouch using some of the new fabrics we've got on uh, on the website. So I, I thought we'd do... Oh, that's dark. See? Should have lightened that. Um, I thought we'd do a little project. It's ever so quick and it's ever so easy, and you may have seen similar before, but I just thought it's going to be one of those useful little things, um, maybe for giftware or storage and things like that. So we're going to make that in a bit. And I just want to show you while you're there, this is going to be the sew along for Saturday morning. Um, I think it was Denise that asked for somewhere to keep her sewing uh, machine feet. So I've made you this, Denise. There you go. Be careful what you ask for. So it's just a little box. There's all my sewing machine feet. And then it just folds away like that. I'll be honest, if you tip it upside down, they'll probably fall out. But it's, a, it's quite a handy little place just to keep your bits and bobs. And it looks quite cute as well. So I've already put everything that you need for that on, um, on the Facebook page. And I have messaged everyone on YouTube. If you haven't got the message, then have a look on Facebook and you'll find everything there. Uh, Emma's received a pink parcel today. Fabric is beautiful. I made my first project on half Oh, well done. And you've been a member for a while, but you've only just made your first project. Looking forward to making more. Actually, it is um, anniversary month, isn't it? Oh, wait. oh, no, last month. So uh, who's renewed after a year? Who's been there from the very beginning? Come and let me know. We've been there a long time now. Hello, Deborah in Maine. Oh, it's Janet's mum's 89th birthday today. Congratulations and happy birthday to your mum and I hope you enjoyed your cake. Hello, Annick in France. And uh, Glenis, hello from Cheshire. It was Denise who asked. thought it was. Not normally too good at remembering things like that. But anyway, that's for you, Denise. Hope you like it. So that's Saturday mornings so along. Um, right. Hi, Julie Jones in France. Are you back in France now? Um... Stephanie, today is my 40th birthday. Oh, happy birthday to Stephanie. I can't sing because they'll cut the sound on YouTube. But happy birthday to you. Uh, can I do a build a book bug to chore for your sewing group? Of course you can, Alan. Of course you can. You can do what you like, Alan. Um, right, so happy birthday to Janice. I want you a nice lot. No, it's a knitted one, this one, Elaine. Thank you. It's phase eight. I thought it's got rather large sleeves. I might take it in. Uh, can't stay long knitted. Oh, knitted the doctor's vets. Oh, Kim. I hope it's all right, see dog. Let us know what happens. Are there any plans to rejig the builder bag books? Any ones I've got or satchel them? Back, back. Read them with a single template. No, they, they, they are being redone. They're all being made in paperback um, silver, but um, 
they'll be exactly the same with the same templates and everything. Um, Gillian, hello from Saza. Where's Saza? Where's Saza? I don't know where Saza is. I've been doing a long time since I was to catch you. Oh, hello, Kathy. Welcome back again. Um, happy 40th birthday, said Ginny. Well, you're a, you're a nice lot, you lot are. I've got some new fabrics to show you. And some new bits and bobs that Kim is um, hastily trying to get on the website as we speak because they've only just come in. Um, Denise has been a member of Half Yard Club for a few years now. Love it. The best value and so much more. Thank you. Cloudy and Mablethorpe. Olive's been a member since the start as well. Oh, lovely. Let me show you this. So we've got a few new fabrics and this one. My daughter has this habit of buying fabric for herself. And this is the one of the fabrics that she bought for herself. Perks of the job, don't mind at all, but this is one that, that she chose. It's satin. And it's a really lovely, heavy weight of satin. I wouldn't say for um, a blouse, a bit heavy. A jacket would look amazing. Imagine a reversible jacket in this. Um, oh, Debbie can't buy anything yet. Oh, we'll still have it after Monday. Don't worry, Debbie. We've got loads. So it's satin. I'm thinking cushion covers or chair covers or table runners and things like that. But it's so lush. But it's really lovely, lovely, lovely. It's a really lovely heavyweight. Um, I can't remember prices or names of anything. But if you have a look on the website on debbieshawsewing.com, they'll be under new arrivals. But that's a really dark blue with a cream and it is absolutely beautiful. Yes, and like Lisa says on, on YouTube, please do put your... Half Yard Club member discount code in when you place your order. Remember, you get 10% off anything, no matter how much you order, even on the sales stuff as well. And, and do have a look at that. We've got plenty of, um, of bargains to be had. Now, a friend of mine who does jolly good eggs, Stuart Hillard, has come up with these. I thought there were three of those. I might have got this wrong. Have I got, have I got three? No, I've only got two. Must be two. Um, they're lovely. I'm, I'm really. These are really lovely, Stuart. If you're watching, because they're printed, but they're printed in a cross-stitch design. They're gorgeous. Look at that. So that's the width, which is quite nice, because that's that's the way that it comes off the off the bolt, so to speak. So when you cut it, you can cut it that way. And I'm thinking again. Oh, that is a just that. Oh, oh, that is a table runner, just on its own. Maybe with some pom poms around the edge, would make a really nice centerpiece, wouldn't it? And you've got a gap in the middle where you can put your bits and bobs, um, your candelabras and all those. You know, your your sherry glasses, um, or you could use it that way to make placemats, um, Christmas bags, or just a wall hanging like that. I think would look fabulous. And I was saying about the good eggs last time I saw Stuart was over on Sewing Street where he's presenting now and he'd brought in some, because he keeps chickens, and he brought in some eggs and they were lovely, they were very yellow yolks, gorgeous. So we've got two from the collection here, again have a look under new in. Stuart's lovely, he's a very nice man, um, who's a, Anne, he's a very nice man, very good eggs, very kind to his animals on the farm I have to say. So that's those two. And then we've got another little bit of Christmas, which I haven't shown you before. So I'm just delve down here. In fact, we've got a few Christmases. This is a, those two. This is a set of two. So we've got the robins and the deer. I love the colors of those as well. They're quite modern, aren't they? Not, not, not a, a very typical, uh, Stitch in Time, that's the one. Um, not a very typical Christmas colour. These are, that's not orange, is it? Um, that's Vicky Louise, is it? Yes, Victoria Louise. She's one of the designers for the Craft Cotton Company who actually puts together, she's been work, she is working at the moment on my Christmas design for next year. So she's a very talented designer, but this is her own range. So again, we've got the Robins and you've got Stags. Look at their skinny legs. And then these are, again, Craft Cotton Company for these. And this is a collection of three. So Santa Faces, 
rocking horses, I'll put it that way, and snow globes. Hello Christine in Melbourne, how are you? Uh, Romina says, me and Canton to Strabajos. Me too. I've no idea what that means, but I'm 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 sure it's it's I'm sure I agree with you. <laughs> I'll translate later. How's that? Um, Peggy, love Santa faces. Oh hi Nancy. Not doing tip top right now. Trying to sew by hand a little. Are you okay? What's it, what, What's your problem, Nance? Come on, can you let message me? Hello Anna Lou in Brazil. Shirley's brought the Robin fabric today. Lovely. Um, morning coffee and Debbie on YouTube. Morning, I, I think I'm missing something there, Laura. Sorry. Morning coffee at this time in the afternoon. Uh, the sn snow globs. Sn uh, Janet loves the snow globs. <laughs> They're nice, though, aren't they? It's nice to have a collection as well because they all go so well together. Right. We've got a, a few more. This one's a bit creased up because I'm actually using this one to make the pouch with today for these two. I just think they're really lovely classy and not just for Christmas. I think they're quite quite wintry but not just um, Christmas times. And those two are much in pairs. So my little bag that I'm going to make, I use both of those. So I use the dark brown one on the inside and the white one on the outside. But I think this time I'll reverse it so I, I may have a, a matching set of different size little pouches for you there. Helen's not too bad, just ups and downs. Oh, Helen, I'm sorry. Um, Carol's got maroon canvas, lovely. Hi, Gabriel. And um, Janet and Christine. Right, so that's that one. I've got a, f a few more bits and bobs to show you. But again, Kim was busy actually putting these onto the website as we speak. So I'm hoping they're going to be there now. If not, keep looking because they won't be too long. And these are they. So we have glitter felt. Look at those. They're gorgeous. Um, now, they're, they're, they're not soft, OK, because they're absolutely covered in glitter. Um, but if you're making bags, if you're making boxes, if you're doing a plique, you get all of these in the pack. Again, have a look on the website on debbieshawsown.com if you want to take a look at prices. And what it's actually called, they'll all be under new arrivals when you go to that section on the website. But look at, look at the black. That would be great for Halloween. I'm thinking spiders on bunting, maybe. And we've got the bright pink and white. Love that white. It's very snowy. Snowmen uh, applique would be good in that. And then there's a turquoise. That reminds me of My Little Mermaid or Frozen. And then a silver. And the bright pink, a little bit of glitter. And glitter's not just for Christmas, is it? It's all year round. A bit of silver, and there's a bright blue, Christmas tree green, and a gold. Leona Bobbin is fine, thank you very much. Deep gold, and then a bright red. And while we're there talking about a bit of sparkle, <gasps> Oh, I forgot metallics as well. So these are fantastic for embroidery. Just use these in the top of your sewing machine, not in the bottom. So don't waste these on the spool in the underneath your machine. Um, but hand sewing or machine sewing, those would be fantastic. Try and get hold of a metallic needle if you're using those um, or a Microtex needle because it's going to help them to pass through quicker. Basically, the, uh, your metallic thread got metal in it, funnily enough. Um, so it's going to expand with heat. So if it goes through a lot of your tensions all over your sewing machine, then a small iron is on your needle, it'll stretch and it'll break quite easily. So make sure you've got the right needle and maybe loosen the tension a little bit while you're using that. But for a decorative effect, again, by hand or by machine, then um, those are absolutely perfect. Right, where's my scissors? I say mine because I'm keeping these. I've got scissors on. Oh, they're here. Are we all right? Right. Brand new Fisker scissors. So these are mine and those are Kim's. And I'll probably give those to Tyler for cutting fabric down at the office. How's that? Um, so Fisker's, as you know, is one of the, the highest quality, the well-known brands of sewing, of, um, of cutting tools. They're right-handed scissors, I'm afraid. Sorry if you're left-handed, but they are shaped to a right hand. 
and this one is the one that I really love so I'm keeping those and that's the grey marble um, Kim said these reminded of, of Christmas candy sticks so she's having those and I do rather like those as well they're really elegant so these are 21 centimeters in length comfort grip but the best thing is they're biscuits but these are as you can see special edition scissors hello Lisa in Cyprus um, and collect hello to you the kit didn't survive and have it oh um, text you earlier on here oh Leanne, are you talking to me sorry I'm not getting oh I'm not getting messages that you sent Leanne if that was for me um, I was on Facebook let me just scroll down a little bit oh hi Jilly loves the striped ones um, hello Claire welcome along hello Ren uh, Renee in Nevada hello to you too um, I have thread but think correct needle is needed yes dear I, I think it would work better with a larger eyed needle so those are they and I think I think that's it I think that's everything new for you this week oh <laughs> oh Lisa that's that's sad news and good news all in the same sentence isn't it candy cane scissors yeah they're really cute aren't they um yeah, I, t I tell you why we have a minimalist look in the background. Because all of the um, props I had on here from, uh, when was it, Saturday, I took to Crate and Craft with me for the Sunday show. And they're still in bags in the house. It was only when I came down here, I was a bit late, I have to say, I was a bit late. I came down here to set up and I said to Gary, oh, shall, shall we go for that, um, that sparse clean look today? Because I haven't actually got time to dress anything. Um, so that's why... Anyway, that's everything new. Shall we do a little bit of sewing? I'm just trying, I've got, I'm not very organized over here today, I'm afraid. And that's what we need. So these little bags and some ribbon and do I have a safety pin? Or a bodkin. Do you know what I did today? I'm, I'm so annoyed with my mother. My mother, who passed away 20 years ago, um, I don't know where it is. Oh, it needs a safety pin. I'm just reaching over here a second. So do, oh, bear with, bear with the back of my head. This was my mother's. So I've got quite a few tins like this. And uh, they're full of buttons. So this is all of her stuff. Remember when you used to get buttons on card like that? And when needles used to come in, things like this. So these, these are all really, really old buttons. And I thought, you know, I'm going to use some of those. So I delve my hand in here, only to find a needle go straight through my finger. There's another one, look, needles. There was a razor blade in there without a cover on it. I just thought after all these years, she's getting me. Look at it, look at the pins, just loose in the bottom. So it's been that long since I've actually looked in here and I need to empty it all out and be really careful with it because she left sharp objects in amongst the buttons. If she was here, I could have a word. So, safety pin I was looking for, wasn't I? I haven't got one. Oh, I do. Oh, that was that a say Is that a little safety pen under that? No, it's all oh, that'll do. Whoops. I've got a bodkin. Right, so to make this pack, this is really, really simple. We shan't be too long making this one. Um, Cameron's just bought the paper pack, but with two templates. Fantastic. Will there be more of the templates? But they're doing all four books. I've, I've done four of the, um, the Builder Bag books. There's Builder Bag, Tote, Backpacks, Occasion, and... Occasion Bags and... There are four of the books, but I can only remember three. But they're all being redone in the paperback version. So yes, that's the first, first one to come out. The rest will follow probably very shortly. I think just as bad with my tin. I know, I wasn't expecting to. I haven't delved in that tin for 20 years. And that's what she's done to me. Bits and bobs. I love looking through them, says Laura. I like looking through them. I just don't like to be um, scarred by them. <laughs> uh, the little round pouch she just showed is for a video. This one. No video, we're just going to do it now. That's that, that's the project for today. We don't normally do um, don't normally do projects on a Wednesday, but I'm a little bit behind at the moment. There's a lot going on. Um, so I didn't have time to look for a technique, so I thought we'd just do a little project instead. 
Love your tin, look at all the old packaging, love them. I have some old Amy McDonald needles, really, Sylvia. Satchels, that was the one, thank you. Thank you, Rosina. So backpacks, satchels, tote bags, and occasion bags. Those are the four books, and they will all be in, in, uh, in paperback at some point. Right. So this little round bag is actually made from two squares. This one is made from 12 inch squares and that's the size that you end up with. They are ideal projects if you've got a couple of fat quarters that you don't know what to do with. Because basically all we're going to do is cut this into squares. This is very quick. I'm not going to use any interfacing or lining on it because even without that, it doesn't gather up in the middle so that it meets perfectly. So if you're going to use this as a gift bag, Maybe wrap your gift in a little bit of tissue paper first so that you don't see what's inside. Um, having problems with the instructions of the pyramid wrap. Is there somewhere I can get help? The pyramid wrap. What's the pyramid? Oh, on the Half Yard Club. Um, if you send a message to the Half Yard Club team, it's info at halfyardsewingclub.com and then somebody will either be able to answer your message or they will pass that on to me if nobody there can do it so it's info at halfyardzoneclub.com okay so i've got these two squares of a fabric and i love these colors together i think they're really unusual and these are can't remember the size i had a tape measure here a minute ago oh there we are um 15 inch squares again make these in any size you like that will be a um, a 12 inch square that's the size so this is going to be a little bit bigger you can make them smaller as well and these are going to be sewn right sides together i haven't done that from the builder bag book taryn i'm afraid um, there's something i can put on the list to do but i do have an awful long list of things that i need to do so I'll, I'll try, but I don't know when that will be, if that's okay. How to add a zip panel in a tote bag. Julie, that's, it is in, in the tote bags book, if you've got the tote bags book. Um, or there's a tote bag book video on YouTube that has a little bit missing from it, and it's the missing bit that shows you how to do that. If you have a look on tote bags on uh, on my YouTube channel, there's there's definitely something there. Uh, Leona says we had to oh had to put my dog Jack to sleep as he had lymphoma September the 9th. He was twelve. Oh, Leona, I'm so sorry. You never quite get over that, do you? It's um there'll always be a, a a part of your life, and there'll always be moments when you get upset about it. I do with mine that were twenty years ago. Very sad. The nicest thing which isn't nice at all about having a pet put to sleep is that you can because you can stop suffering not like with humans i always think so i think it's the best thing you can do and it's the worst thing you can do all at the same time but at least at least we can do that um that's really sad uh that would be brilliant thank you very much okay well have a look is there any we can showcase versions of eric and ola the gonks gonks um <laughs> what's the difference in a gonk and a gnome i don't know i think there is one but i don't know you can put a picture on facebook on my facebook page if you wish you can email me pictures if you want to send them directly to me i should do a little gallery shouldn't i I'll have, I'll have a word with my daughter, because I'm sure we can do that on the website. If you email me any pictures of your gnomes to enquiries at debbieshawsewing.com, we'll see if we can collect them all together and make a bit of a gallery, because I think that'd be really funny. Who was it? Sorry, I can't remember. You know, somebody messaged me asking if they, if they could make a, or if they want an extra beard. Um, to make a biker gnome for a son who had a ginger beard. I'd love to see that biker gnome. So come and, yeah, send me some pictures and we'll see if we can organise a gallery. I think that would be nice. Oh, no, no, Liana. No, it's, it's nice to be able to share that with you. I'm glad you did. Don't worry. It is upsetting, but um, I'm glad you're here to share that because we can give you a, li a little bit of love and support because I think most of us have been through things like that. Um, and you never get over it. So brilliant bags might might take an, an easy bag for the an easy bag a good idea. Right. I'm gonna sew all around the edge. 
This is so simple, honest. Right, and I'm using the edge of my foot as a seam allowance. A pumpkin for Halloween. Actually, Kim's made pumpkins for Halloween. Um, I think they'll be on her blog. I'll double check with her unless unless she's watching now and she'd like to just post a link to the pumpkin. Have you done that? I'm not sure if she's done it yet. She's made pumpkins. Not sure if she's done the video. Gonks have longer legs. Oh, oh, Linda. Really? Really? I'm writing a gnomes book at the moment and some have got long legs and some have got short. Some have got long. Should it be gnomes and gonks? I thought gonks were completely covered in hair like Cousin It. I always thought that was a gonk. Because I remember when I was younger, we used to have gonks and trolls for toys. Um, yes, dear Alan, that would be really nice. Thank you. There is a video. Thank you, Jilly. There is a video of Kim's pumpkins. Tell you what else she's got, which I'm, I'm meant to have it. Well, I meant to ask her where to find it because um, I forgot. Um, she made a, it wasn't a paw shaped Christmas stocking like somebody's been asking for. It was a bone shaped Christmas stocking. But I can't remember where she put it. So I'm, I'm going to have to share all these links with you, aren't I? Where's my new scissors? Okay. So two pieces sewn right sides together with a gap in one side for turning. And now we're going to chop off the corners. Uh, like so, just so that we can turn the corners through and make the points that little bit pointy. At <laughs> least I would imagine a lot of men do that. Gonks when I was a child did not have legs, just feet. Oh, is that? Oh, 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 I've got gonks and trolls and all sorts in that book then, haven't I? Okay, so chopped off the corners and just going to switch the iron on. There we go. Hello, Brenda. Nice that you caught the live as well. Um, couldn't find pumpkins on Kim's blog. Okay, Connie, I'll ask her and put a link. Cooper is the kid. Yeah, of course, course she is. Of course she is, ladies. Um, an interchangeable knitting needle. Interchange. In, what, I'm scared. Inter, uh, what's interchangeable, Stephanie? What needs interchanging? I'm not a knitter, so I'm not sure what you need for a knitting needle case. But let me know, we'll have a look. Triangular container with handles to store coat hangers. Oh, that's a good idea, Rosina. Hi, Pam. Um, hello, Claire. The bone is easy to find under the Christmas. Oh, on, on Kim's website. Thank you, Connie. Right. Just going to poke out my corners, then we'll give this a press. I'm as multitasking in Chelford, writing an assessment whilst watching you. Thank you. Thanks, Helene. So, right. So, this Sunday on Create and Craft is Seamless Sunday. And that, remember, is the six hour sewing show from seven o'clock through to one o'clock on Sunday morning. So, I will post what's coming up so you can come and watch along if you like. Um, there will be Stephanie Waitman. She's got some new panels for Lemon Lane. We've got Alice there with more dress making fabrics. We have Karen from Seams. I've got um, Catherine as the presenter who's, who's going to be my, I'll throw to her in the green room talking and chatting to guests in there. Uh, we have, oh, now I'll post a picture of this one. We've got Natasha McCarty from Natasha Makes and she's bringing us uh, one show of fabrics and the next show is a block of the month using K-Facet fabrics. So I've asked her to send over a picture of the actual finished quilt, which she has done. So I'll post on that as well. That's a brand new and exclusive to Create and Craft as well. So And they're going to put together the bundles to make, make the whole quilt, which is lovely. Um, who else have we got? Oh, the one day special is going to be an embroidery machine. It's a brother embroidery machine, just embroidery machine. It's not an embroidery and sewing machine. And we've got Kim Sulliman guesting that one. And then we've got a bit of furniture and Sarah Payne's going to be talking around that as well. Um, any more Madison bags? Amanda, now, have they not got any of the jungle ones left? Um, 
the, the the problem isn't with the fabrics and putting the kits together. It's the frames. So they they uh, all, all of the frames have gone, and without the frames, it's not a Madison bag, is it? I know um, Kim has got some more on order, but they come from the Far East, so it takes a little bit of time to to get here. So there will be some eventually, but um, just takes a little bit of time. Might have been an idea if I plugged it in and switched it on, wouldn't it? Um, so yes, there, there will be. We will try and get some on the website as well. Coat hangers are long standing pet. Coat hangers are a pet. What would you do without them, Jean? They have all your clothes on the floor. Um, flying out to Portugal at 8.15. Oh, that'll be nice. So you'll have to record. When do you think Christmas Robin will be available? Oh, and I have some on order. Um, because they back ordered it from Crate and Craft. I'm just ironing this. That's all I'm doing, by the way. Um, hopefully by the end of the week, I did say ASAP to the printers, so hopefully by the end of the week. As soon as we get them here, I'll put them on the website. They will be going back on Crate and Craft and they're going to put them on the Seamless Sunday show as well. Um, so they'll be the same price, but we'll be out of the exclusivity time then, so we can have them on the website too. So hopefully by the end of the week. Um, Angela bought me... A Madison kit, so I don't have a crate and craft. Oh, you've got a very nice husband, Angela. Which one did you go for? Um, oh, oh, stop it, Elizabeth. She's watching from a poolside in Italy. How wonderful. Oh, I wish. Tyler's off to Malta in a couple of weeks. I only just got back from Italy. Um, where, yeah, whereabouts in Italy, Elizabeth? He went to, uh, I think they landed in Florence. They went to Rome. I can't remember where else. All over the, they did. Uh, they went on the train. No coffee this afternoon, Sheila. I don't. I don't know what's happened there. Right. So that's that. And now I'm just going to top stitch all the way around the edge. So I still, I still have an earl, but I folded the edges and impressed it. So that's going to close when we top stitch around here. This is so easy. Um, Michelle, we're making that. It's just a little drawstring bag. So we normally do um, a techniques on Wednesday and I'm normally a little bit more prepped than I have been today. But um, yeah, my sister's not been very well actually. So um, yeah, I've been a little bit distracted over the last couple of weeks. Um, so yeah, and anyway, that's, that's by the way. Um, so I just thought we'd make this because it's really quick and really easy. I'll open it up and show you actually. It's, it's such a simple little project to do. Look, I'm so rushed and even trim them back. But it's a nice shape. So that could be somewhere where you keep sewing machine feet and these, couldn't it? That, that would work quite well. So, and then you just draw it up and tie a knot and you've got these petal shapes on there. That's it. Is it uh, Lisa, call the police. Always have a coffee. Uh, I'm going to lengthen the stitch because I'm top stitching and then literally sew all the way around the edge. Closing the opening as I'm sewing. going to be on Crate and Craft on Monday and Tuesday as well. Um, presenting. Somebody's off sick. I don't know who's off sick, but I had a, an email today just saying, any chance you could cover sickness? So it, uh, yes, Lisa, paper craft again. I know. I know nothing about it. I'm really rubbish at it. So don't expect amazing sales. I have told them. But um, if you want to come and join me, don't even know what I'm doing. But somewhere between 2 and 10 on... On Monday and Tuesday, I should be presenting on Crane Craft. It's quite nice fun, actually. I haven't done it for thonkish years, but it's nice to do something a, a little bit different like that. Well, 10 o'clock's a bit late. I'm normally in bed by half past eight. Anyway. I think I like to get up early and get working. Monday and Tuesday, Lisa. So Sunday is the, the six-hour sewing show on Crane Craft. That's seamless Sunday on, on Sunday. And then Monday and Tuesday, I'm doing the late shift on Crate and Craft as well. Uh, doing a video over the pouch. I wasn't planning to, Liana, but I could do. Won't be till Saturday. Because um, I was a bit busy. I was a bit busy. I was a bit busy. Build by Collection Hardback is out of stock in a lot of places. Oh. Um, no, they're all different, Alexandra. Um, I don't do books with any of the same projects in, apart from the collab the, 
the compilations like the um, Half Yard Winter, Summer and Spring. Or I, I don't like to do so I, any of the bags that are in the books. I don't do on YouTube unless I'm covering a specific pro project from the book. I like everything to be different, but certainly with the books because I don't want you to buy so brilliant bags or Half Yard bags and then buy tote bags. You know, that's the same bag. I've just paid for it, and I, I, so I, everything is different. Um, obviously, there's only so much you can do with the bag. So a tote bag is a tote bag, but that they won't be the same dimension, shape or features in any of the books. I don't like to repeat them like that. Um, that's what I do, Laura. Yes, it's, that, that stops the fabric disappearing into the feed dogs, doesn't it? Um, oh, love it when you have a chat to each other. Carol's in, in cloudy Benidorm. Oh, you lucky lot. You lucky lot. Right, we've got this. So with this one, I've had the um, the white fabric on the outside, so I folded the corners in on the dark, but this time I'm going to do it the, the other way around. So the folded in corners, these bits are going to be in the white. So let me take my pad again. And I'm going to measure, have I got a bigger ruler than that handy? I'm asking questions to myself. This is a, one of those times when you can use the markings on your ruler. So because I've got a right angle, I've got a 45 degree angle there. Um, and I want to make this, let's do, let's do two and a half, two and a half inches. No, let's do three inches. One, two, that's four, that's three. Mm, let's do four inches. So basically, um, one, two, three, four inches for the corner, and if you do have a ruler, I've lined up the 45 degree line against the edge here, so that gives me a perfect corner there. And I'm going to fold that over and press it at that point. Like that. So I scored it with my finger. We would need this to be at right angles, basically. And then we'll give that a press. And then same again on this side. So you can just line this up now. So you've got the same distance across here. So that's nice and straight across there. Measure it if you like, but it's quite easy to do like this. Once you've got your first corner gone, uh, done. Like that. Hello, Linda. Doesn't matter that you're late. Glad you're here. Um, let's turn this around. Line that up there and press. You can pin it if you like, but I think pressing is going to be enough. I've got a nice bit of steam on there as well. And then the final side comes in here. So everything lines up really nicely. It doesn't matter if they're not absolutely 100% perfect, but if you cut your square out square to start with, that's that's um, that's going to be really easy to do it. So hi, Kathy. Ka oh, not Lee. We're all late. Kathy's late, and who else was late? Rosie's late as well on YouTube. There we go. So that that's what we're making today. It's just a little drawstring pack. Really, really easy. So I've got that, and then I'm going to sew about half an inch across each one of these to make a channel. Debbie's got a week off work this week, knitting a feral hat, lovely. And Lisa can knit, she knitted me a hat once, I've still got it, I go dog walking in the winter with it. Or was it crocheted, Lisa, I don't really know the difference. And, well I do, you know. Um, so again, just making that channel across each one of the creases that I've just made. My, Mary's been shopping for wardrobe baskets. You do get to some exciting stuff, you lot, don't you? Um, Laura would like to make hanging storage for rulers. Do you know, I was thinking about doing that, Laura, for one of the Half Yard Club projects. We have a meeting next month. Um, to talk about the next six months worth of projects. So that was one of the things I was going to put forward for it. Crochet. Oh, I've still got it, Lisa. Still got it. Still wear it. Right. So I'm just snipping off any loose ends here. Uh, like 
so. Don't, I don't like a thread. So just make all this nice and neat. These scissors are lovely. Look at me posh scissors. I know. Marble. Then I had my bodkin, there we go, somewhere, and a piece of ribbon. Grey this time. So let's just stick that on there. A safety pin would be absolutely fine. I just couldn't find one, which is why I've got this, because it's the only thing I could find down here. And then I'm going to thread my ribbon through each one of these channels. Coffee, <laughs> tea. What is, is it the gin lot? What is it? That is, it's the gin, it's always the gin lot. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, do you know, they'll be asking it, for Baileys and it, whiskey. Is it that time of day? Well, it's for them. There's a nose on the floor now. Thank you. Um, I know Claire, new shop scissors, love a new shop scissor. Um, hello, Jennifer in Perth in Western Australia. She says she loves the streams. Thank you. G and T. G and T they want. Told you. Let's put that down there. That's going to be really hot. Right. Can you do a square box with four compartments inside, quartered, not straight across, so they're four little squares? Yes, Linda, that, that may be another half-yard project, because that's quite in-depth. Oh, no, Lisa, I'm sorry. She's just lost her cat. Oh. Co coffee and Bailey's for Peggy Sue. I told you they're a boozy lot. You know, it's it's ten to five. They're, they're half cut by now, this lot. I um, interchangeable, oh, interchangeable knitting needles, a circular knitting, oh, right, I've seen a circular knitting needles. So, what do you, you need big pockets for those. Brandy Sour for Lisa Grady. Oh, hot chocolate for Liana, she's a bit more sophisticated. And tea for Christine. We're very late today, aren't we, Jean? Mind you, mind you, um, with... Uh, create and craft deliveries I'm, I'm not sure if you are aware um, they you, you pay postage to them so they pay the postage but all the orders come back to the supplier so we had a few hundred from the other day and um, they're all being picked up today um, there we go look so that's what we've got so I've just threaded that through the four sides so yeah all being picked up today at five to four. They're supposed to come between nine and four. They came at five to four with a very small van for an awful lot of packages. So, um, yeah, I was a little bit late coming down because I left him to it. I like, Carol, help. And so I suppose he's just finished loading the van up. Um, I don't think so, Nancy. I, I'm, I'm entirely with you on that one. I think that was a once in a lifetime. In anybody's lifetime, actually, wasn't it? Oh, Mary, Mary's got her own tea. Bet it's got a shot of something in it. Oh. Um, little patch, perfect time, little same project, Grandma Maria. Oh, that's a nice idea. A black tea. Mm. I don't like tea. Mm. Mm. Anyway, so I've got that. So let me take my bodkin off. Um, just need to have it. Oh, Karen, what's his name, Karen? What's his, what's his name? We'll have a word with him. So before I gather this up, in fact, let's gather it up a little bit. So it's going to be that way out. So I've got white on the inside. I was going to do it the other way, wasn't I? Oh, no, I'm doing it that way. I've got it right. It's OK. So I'm going to just pull this up a little bit. <clears throat> and then where these corners are, I'm going to sew them. So just along the edge of the seam here, and just as far as I can, obviously I don't want to sew through the end of the ribbon there, but I'm just going to sew those to make a shape. Um, Darlene would like a pina colada. She, she's a bit racy, Darlene, with a, so I've heard, with a pina colada. Dave, 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 could you go and put the kettle on the carrot? Go on, let's go back. I hope that worked. We do this on all four of those. So again, just from the corner here, just going to sew across the end there up to where it meets. 
So I'm going to loosen that ribbon. I don't want to pull the ribbon out completely and I don't want to sew through the ribbon, so I'm just loosely sewing over the corners. And you can't see a thing I'm doing there, can you? And then let's do this one. So push that bit out. Just ease that up a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. And sew down there. The smaller you make the flap over the top, the deeper these bits are going to be. So you can kind of have a play and make these different shapes and sizes. And then push that one through there, and that's the last one. It's the, the real. Uh, oh, what am I doing? Wrong camera. I do like lots of bowls and things. Who is that to keep Wonder Clips in, Lisa? Um, I just, they are really handy, aren't they? I mean, that, that actually has turned out to be quite a big pouch. That one, when I pull it open, if I go all the way, whoops, without pulling the ribbon out, oh, now it's going to come out, oh, it's gone. That's going to be a lot smaller, but it's got deeper sides. So that is actually quite a big pouch there. So then all I'm going to do is to poke those little bits inwards. You can leave them out if you like. Oh, hi, Magella. Oh, I'm glad I'm keeping you entertained. And this one. And then we're going to just pull that together and hopefully we'll have a nice shaped pouch. So this one again was using a 15 inch square. It won't draw, okay, all the way through to the center. You, you won't close that up completely. So as I was saying before, if, you, um, if you're going to give this with, as a gift or gift packaging, then I would put um, some tissue paper inside there as well, just so that you don't see what it is. But if you're going to use it just for storing your bits and bobs, then I think that is a perfect idea. Just don't tip it upside down, because again, they will all fall out. So you've got your four little petals there. Quite a long string. What might be an idea, because that one's disappeared now inside there, I'll re-thread it in a minute, would be to tie the ends into a knot. And then you can just draw that up and, and leave it loose, or you could hang it up with that. That would be a nice idea. With this one, I tied it into a bow. No reason why you can't tie this one into a bow as well. Even though the ends are knotted together, that's fine. And then again, when you open it up, you've got a nice little storage pouch there, if that's what you're going to use it for. I say little, that's quite a big pouch, isn't it? So I hope you found that, that useful. I'm glad you like it, Amanda. Oh, Jill is her 48th wedding anniversary today. <gasps> Would have been out on good behaviour by now. <laughs> Happy wedding anniversary to you. Whoops, broke that. Um, you could put a bead, a bead on the end would look really well. That would work well. Natasha's scissors are the same. So, oh, she got them too. Oh, and there I thought we were being really original. Now I shan't take them to, to work with me. You, n you never know with these people, do you? You never know what they're going to be up to. Um, just tuned in, says Helen's going to watch later. A toggle springy thing. A toggle springy thing is, oh yes, because then you can just pull it right up to the end, can't you? That is a really good idea. That's better than tying it into a knot. Um, Elsie would add some beads onto the rib ribbon as well. Can you make a flat makeup bag? Have I not got anything like that, Sue, on YouTube already? I'm sure I've done things like that. I'll have a look. If you can think of an idea or you've got a picture of something that you've got in mind, then let, let me know. Do send it to me. Um, Helen put cross fingers in by accident. <laughs> um, Elaine's just got a parcel, but it's not a pink parcel. It depends how big and heavy it is. The pink packaging is um, not too good on very big packages, Elaine. We don't, uh, Julie, we've got um, the core bond scissors. I'm not sure if they're in stock at the moment. These are left and right handed. So with the, the Fiskars, they're, they're actually shaped, as you can see. So you've got a groove down the side, and they, those are meant to be right-handed. They, they will hurt if you use them as left-handed scissors. But the core bond precision scissors that we have are left or right-handed because they don't have individual grooves on them. So again, I'm not sure if we've got stock 
I'm sure we've got stock. Well, I'm not sure if we've got stock. Um, not sure if we've got stock at the moment, but if they're not there, then we will have them soon. And they're slightly bigger than the Fiskars. But yeah, they, those are both. But we don't have specific left-handed scissors, I'm afraid. I don't think these come in left-handed. I shall ask my daughter to have a look. Candy bag. Andrew, I can't remember who won the giveaway, but I did put the details in the description box underneath the video. Um, on YouTube and on Facebook she's already had her sent out the YouTube winner hasn't got in touch me, with me yet so we might have another one to give away if she doesn't um, a toilet roll holder that's a nice idea Debbie would you like a novelty one or a sling backpack that could be a half yard club one mm. um, a soup bowl holder Mm, not sure about that. I don't know if it's deep enough to be a soup bowl holder. And you need some insulated wadding on the inside as well, wouldn't you? But yeah, that's a good idea. A travel shoe bag for men. That's another. You're full of them today, you lot, aren't you? What a nice idea. Helen's going to start Christmas sewing. Um, Amanda's got a great pattern for a toilet roll holder. Do send over. Don't like to copy, but it's nice to have a bit of inspiration and see what's out there, isn't it? Um, we've got the jewellery present. That's a nice idea as well, Cathy. But I would put some tissue paper inside so it doesn't all fall out. Um, right, add a top to the apron that you made on Saturday. But I made. I had to make an apron on Saturday. Was that a few weeks ago? Um, that would be a different pattern completely. It's not that easy to just add a, a top to something that's been... I'm, I'm looking at it over there is why I'm doing that. Um, but we can have a think about doing um, an apron like that. I did... I haven't done one on YouTube. I've got over 400 videos on YouTube. I can't remember what I've done and what I've not. Um, will this be a video for later? I could do a video, but it won't be later today, Connie. It might be over the weekend. Um, it reminds me of one I had as a kid. Oh, did it, Elaine? Yeah, they're, they're not new. It's not, not my invention to do that. I just thought we'd do something a little bit different today. Um, on dressing table for jewellery, that's a nice idea as well. One of those bags that you hang up that are lower at the front and higher at the back. See, I was looking at those the other day. I was looking at doing one the other day. So it's like a pod with a hole at the front and then you hang it up. I need to do a pattern for it. So again, that might be a, a half yard club um, pattern. Linda, toilet roll holders used to be knitted from, my grandma used to have one of those and used to have a, a really cheap plastic doll stuck down the middle of it. How small could those bags be? That one was, I've, I've pulled the end out so I can't gather it up, that one was 12 inches. I suppose you could go to 8 inches, I wouldn't go much smaller than that to be honest because I don't, I don't think it would work very well. Um, Fiskars only do craft scissors as left-handed. They're the red handle ones. They're shorter than the fabric ones. Okay, thank you. A Christmas toilet roll holder. Maybe I should do a gnome toilet roll holder. We'll do a novelty one. Should we do a toilet roll holder? Remember on Saturday, it's this little thing. It's only, it's only a tiny project. This is going to be the sew along um, because it's really, really simple. There's not very much to it, to be honest. And I've put all of the ingredients that you need on Facebook and I have messaged you on YouTube as well. But it's got um, fusible foam on the inside. I think it does need to be foam. I don't think you get that crispness and that kind of the hinges with um, interfacing or, or a fleece. It wouldn't be quite as firm. And then when it opens so you've just got somewhere to store your sewing machine feet or your clips or your sweets, whatever you like in there. Um, your little known from last year are all in the shops. Oh, I think oh, it's nice to be a trendsetter, isn't it, Laura? I hope they're going to be popular next year because my known book doesn't come out till next Christmas. Um, I think I think they will be. Sue's watching while sewing quilt binding, played bobbin chicken. What's bobbin chicken? Oh, bobbin chicken. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so you wait, waiting until the very last minute before you change the bobbin. Bobbin chicken. Um, <laughs> it just reminds me of um, when I was a, a presenter on Ideal World, one of the floor managers used to play Envision Chicken. That was Tony. And um, <laughs> he'd, he'd stand there as the, as the director's counting down, which of course you can hear in your ear, and you get Envision in 10, 9, Eight, and he'd be standing there in front of the camera like this. Five, four, three, 
to, and then dive out the way just as the one second. But yeah, Envision in Chicken, don't think he ever got caught. So I, I just took me back 15 years then when he said that. Uh, a natural fabric for making a caftan for cooler days. Got a polyester one I'd like to copy. I think any kind of, oh, actually, and um, viscose. Viscose would be really nice because it's, it's um, natural, it's light, it's floaty, it's glamorous. I think viscose would be really nice. And it is natural, it's actually made from, um, it's viscose made from tree bark. So it's, it's got the same qualities of cotton, but it tends to be a little bit finer, a little bit floaty. That'd be perfect for a caftan. How many inches the corner turn in? <laughs> um, Sarah, it, 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 I turned that one in, to be honest, I turned that one in four inches. I think I should have done three. I think three inches would have been fine with that one. So that was a 15 inch one, 15 inch square. This one, which was the 12 inch square, I turned in two and a half inches. And I think that's worked really well. I'd do two and a half, maybe do two and a half inches for the smaller one. That's 12 inches and three inches for the bigger one, which is the 15 inch square. Uh, for Gabriel, yes, absolutely perfect for sweets. Brush cotton. Br I don't know if that might be a bit warm, but it'd be very cosy, wouldn't it, Rosina? That didn't, yeah, that'd be nice and comfy to wear. Um, okay, then I'm going to pop off, carry on with some work, relieve my daughter of half yard sewing club project duties that she's working on at the moment. Um, yes, that's the Star Christmas fabric. Thank you, Elaine. That, that's available on the website on debbieshawsewing.com. As are the scissors, as and I'll show you those again because they're so much fun. We've got two marble and the candy cane ones. I'm keeping the marble ones, keeping that one. Kim's keeping that one. And don't forget, we've got the new fabrics. We've got the Christmas fabrics, the glitter felts, and the glitter threads on there as well. Those are the new things that um, I'm going to show you for today. Right, let me just do a little bit of housework over here. And... Things always go really slow when you don't want them to, don't they? I shall see you again on Saturday. So remember, Saturday is going to be the sew along this one. So that'll be over on the Half Yard Club Facebook page, but on this YouTube channel. Everything's gone white and frozen now. Um, and then Sunday is... Go on there. Um, the six hour sewing show on Create and Craft, that's Seamless Sunday. If you're into paper craft, then maybe you'd like to join me on Create and Craft on, on Monday and Tuesday afternoon and evening. And then on, um, thank you, Lynn, on um, Wednesday. Gosh, that's another week away, isn't it? We'll do another technique, but I don't know what. So if you've got any ideas of techniques you want to see, send me a message on, on Facebook or email me and let me know. Um, okay then, I'm sorry, thanks for your company today. I shall see you again on Saturday. Enjoy the rest of your week. Bye-bye.